Well, Megan Kelly is somebody who is no holds barred. She doesn't really care what people think about her. And, you know, although she's done things in the past that I haven't agreed with, one thing that I can get behind is the fact that she is willing to admit when she's wrong, when she makes a mistake. And that's what she's done recently on one of her latest shows where she details her experience with the Vax. We'll dive in and discuss. Welcome, everybody, to Not By Sight News. Yes, just a blind Christian loser guy here. I'm nobody special. Just reporting to you here on the news of the end times and so much more. Thanks for spending part of your day with me today, reminding you, as always, to walk by faith, not by sight. And for someone like me, that's kind of my only option. Now, Megyn Kelly, you know, she revealed this uh, in her show. Uh, this was during the September 6th show, the Megyn Kelly podcast. And she talked about how recently she went to her doctor and she had tested positive for a, she called it an autoimmune issue. Now, we don't know the extent of it, uh, what the diagnosis, you know, the prognosis, all of it, we don't know. But she just said that, you know, she went for her annual physical. She's 52 years old. Uh, this is the first time this has ever happened. And she asked the doctor this question. She said, could this have anything to do with the fact that I took the booster and Three weeks later, I still ended up getting COVID, she said. Could that potentially have led to this autoimmune issue that I just tested for? And her doctor said, yes. She says, in fact, you are not the first one that I have seen that has come down with this same issue. Megan Kelly went on to talk about how she deeply regrets ever getting the vax now. now there's a story with this as well uh detailing and going back to when she first got it i got more on this in a second really quick though guys if you could consider making a generous donation here to my ministry to support what i do i need your help in a major way my channel is completely dying uh it is incredibly censored and suppressed at all angles yt doesn't send alerts out uh, you know, the views on these videos have just dropped to levels that I haven't seen since I first started this channel seven years ago, and I got over 12,400 subs. In fact, uh, my last video that I did where I talked about a Maryland school uh, reinstituting mask mandates, it has only 30 views on it and four likes. Uh, that's pretty sad. So nobody is seeing these videos. Again, uh, my, my channel is completely, completely dying. Um, you know, I... I'm apparently some threat to YT. I don't know. I'm just, you know, some blind, fat loser. I mean, I'm no one special. Uh, but look, I need your help. For those of you who do watch these videos, who are actually able to watch them, I need your help. I need you to fund what I do um, because otherwise I'm not going to be able to survive on this platform much longer at this rate. So here's how you can help me a few different ways. One, simply click that super thanks button on this video here. That's how you can tip me with a one-time donation of any amount. Anything you can do is greatly appreciated. Or make a monthly contribution by joining my Patreon for as little as five a month. Patreon.com slash notbysightnews, link in the description. Uh, when you sign up to Patreon, you will get the alerts for all the content. Again, not with my suppressed YT channel. Again, alerts rarely go out. You can also leave comments over there completely free of any censorship. You could say whatever you want there. It's, it's great to be able to interact there without having to worry about what we say. Uh, and you can even send me DMs. So check it out. It's patreon.com slash notbysightnews. Link there in the description. Big thank you to everybody already contributing and those thinking of doing so. Thank you as well. Your generosity is greatly appreciated. Now, it was back in April of 2021 when Megyn Kelly had wrote on Twitter that she was going to get the J&J &J vax. Now, we all know what happened after that and how they pulled that sucker uh, off the shelf because people were, you know, having all sorts of issues. Uh, but that's the one that she got. Not only that, then again, she got the booster as well. She said at the time to shut up all the noise from anybody that's, you know, discouraging you, telling you not to get it and, you know, trust your instincts and listen to what your doctor says. Well, I mean, I guess she went to the wrong doctor because she says now that I, you know, I feel like I didn't really even need it in the first place. I, I did it because I felt that was the right thing to do. Um, and now I'm in this predicament that I'm in. Let's also not forget that last year, Megan had announced that her sister, her older sister, Suzanne, had died suddenly of a heart attack. And that could have possibly been brought on, you know, by the Vax as well. So 
you know, I'll give her respect because she's willing to come out and actually say that she thinks that's what it's related to for this autoimmune issue. And a lot of other celebrities and athletes and, and you know, whoever, they will not even bring it up as a possibility because they're so afraid. They don't want to lose their livelihoods, their jobs, whatever. But Megyn Kelly doesn't care. And again, this will help others to learn not to make the same mistakes that she did. And that's why I can respect her because she even said a few months back, and I talked about it, how, you know, she she misread this whole the whole trans thing. She's like, I'm done doing the pronouns thing. She's like, I'm done with this. She's like, I know what this is all about now. So again, she can admit fault. That's cool. That's something that we should be able to respect about her. I feel bad that now she has this, whatever this autoimmune issue is. And again, she hasn't really gone any further on it. Uh, but the fact that she thinks it's because of the vaccine, so does the doctor. Uh, it's sad, but it, it says a lot about who she is and, and what she's willing to talk about. So uh, props to her. Uh, if you want to see the clip, I will put it for you in the description. You can let me know your thoughts. What I want to do right now, though, something I do on all these videos, and that's end this video on hope. It's part of my ministry outreach, of course. Talk about the end time Bible prophecy headlines, keep you up to speed and everything else going on. I do it because, yes, we are in the last days. Uh, really the final hours and Christ is coming soon. For anybody watching now, if you have not yet received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to lead you in a prayer to do that now. It's a prayer you could do in your own words, but I will give you the steps you need to bring it before the Lord today. First thing you want to do right off the top, acknowledge you are a sinner. That's something we all are. The good news is that God gave his only son, Jesus Christ, to die on that cross for the sins of all the world as he died and rose again for you and me. He paid the cost. What you have to do is repent of your sin, which means to turn from your sin, not just to say you're sorry and jump back to your old ways, but to actually turn from sin, which are those lifestyles, patterns, habits, behaviors, things in your life that go against the word of God. If you humbly go before the Lord, though, and ask him to forgive you, he'll wipe your sin away, and the Bible says he doesn't remember it any longer. And then you invite Jesus into your life to be your Lord and Savior. When you do that, you become born again, a child of God. You will have eternal life. Trust me when I tell you there's no greater decision that you will ever make than the one you do to give your life to Christ. And I pray you make that decision today. Again, more info down below. Don't forget the links to donate to the ministry are there as well. Join the Patreon for as little as five a month, patreon.com slash not by site news. Or you guys can just hit that super thanks button on this video here to tip me with a one-time donation. It's all a great blessing. Thank you all again so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Be back with more. You guys take care. Please be safe out there. God bless each and every single one of you. And I'll talk with you soon.